So we didn't do anything with the display. We didn't even put the display on there because mm -hmm. we didn't do anything. It doesn't really work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the <laughs> so ours works by having four note players in in series with each other or in parallel. Yeah. And the song reader will start passing off notes and durations to each of the different note players. And it'll start playing the notes and it'll add them together and make an output. Basically how everyone's works. Uh, within, within each note player there's a bunch of different harmonic players, which is basically a slightly adjusted sign reader, but it can take in an amplitude. So it will adjust it a little bit so you can weight the harmonics differently inside of it. Uh, I did what the probably the most interesting thing we did that's different from what everyone else did is we actually found the harmonics for different instruments online. And uh, we they came in XML format and we parsed the XML document into a ROM that had uh, the different weights. Unfortunately it didn't come out sounding all that great, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It turns out uh, the highest uh, amplitude harmonic isn't necessarily the fundamental. So and this is yeah. and they listed strange. twenty harmonics on there and we can only play the first like five or six five or six and so but it gets kind of close. And then we have a decay module inside of each note player that it has a the number represented as a fraction over two fifty six. And it keeps every time the beat happens, it decreases the amplitude <laughs> of the note by that fraction, so it keeps multiplying by that. The so why did you do it by beat rather than by sample? Uh, I did it by beat instead of by sample because there's way too many samples generated. Because if it did it by sample, then it would decay way too fast. Mm -hmm. But you could decay by you know, 0.99. Yeah, the thing is, I can, I can only express it as the, the smallest I can make it decay. The slowest I can make it decay is 256, uh, 255 Five, over 256. Yes. And that would make it decay too fast even if it was sample. So there was um, that echo had a ROM, and we went through the ROM, and we the write the uh, read address that would be used for the weighted weighting of the output would be one ahead of the uh, writing address. So you just you write here and you read from here for your output for the echo, and you keep going through and doing that. So that's what, and what other people, I think that's all. Yeah. Alright, uh, get ready to listen to our boards and copies. Yeah. Alright, this, this is no instrumentation. And then, this is this. Yeah. yeah. That's a violin, supposedly. That's a, trum a trombone, supposedly. A trumpet, supposedly. The first one was supposed to be a trombone. The second, the second one, which is a violin, actually kind of sounds like a violin. Except there's one note in there. Yeah, your, your brass instruments are challenged in some way. Yeah. I, <laughs> the brass instruments had more harmonics in the way. Yeah. Unfortunately, we chose two out of our four instruments to be brass. Yeah. <laughs> we chose to write three measures of a Chicago song called mm -hmm. If You Beat Me Now. And, uh, and it's too low for the string instruments. <laughs> There's that one note of the uh, tr trombone that goes dun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.